Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, people eagerly call God. In the name of His only begotten Son, His only beloved Son. If people call Jesus Christ, JC, which is actual name is Yahweh Shah in Hebrew, in the original Hebrew, in the original tongue. With that being said, I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who I learned this truth from and that rule well. Shalom to the house of David, 144,000 that hopefully elect for one third. Shalom. Let's come at you with a quick hit because you know the times we're living in, anything can happen right now. Anything can happen right now, man. People, Jake out here sleep. Jake out here sleep, slumber in their eyes like I always like to bring out. It's, it's a big ass spiritual slumber party, man, for Jake, man. And I'm up here talking to so called Negro Latinos, Native Americans. Folks. If we are the ones that can receive salvation, we're the ones that have a chance to receive salvation. But ultimately, two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Because they, uh, how about she now was shot, had them sleep. They had them spiritual sleep. And if people think they're asleep, man. They think they're this and that. They think they're grown. They think they're a man. They think they're a woman, man. But ultimately, man, they're just two thirds, man. The, the way to be destroyed. Be destroyed by a nuclear missile if you make it that far. Ultimately, you can get destroyed before something. Before, um, ultimately, you can get destroyed by something else. How about Shimon Al Shah can have a way you don't even make it to nuclear missile, man? And judgment bring brought out every second, man. The scriptures even talk about judgment. You how about Shimon Al Shah bring judgment in the morning? Every day, man, I'm hearing about some shit that's happening, man. Tragedies, man. People dying and stuff. Not to say, not to even bring out all the stuff that's going on right now, man. It's a lot of stuff that's going on just right now. And we still in uh, January. We still in January. Our people was out here celebrating this. Um, them MLK and the people don't even celebrate MLK, let alone give a damn about MLK, man. People just look at that. I know up in Houston, man, they just look at it as a hood day, man. A day to commit a whole bunch of folly, man. A day for all the all the Negroes, you know what I'm saying, Latinos, Native Americans to come together. Ultimately, it'd be ultimately uh, the Southern Kingdom, man. Ultimately, just nothing but um, Negroes out there. I'm you know saying the uh, Benjamites, Levites on um, them MLK celebrating that shit, man. Especially down here in Houston, over there on South Park. They stay real big on that shit, man. Two weeks ago, people started talking about I'm taking off this day. I was actually scheduled off the uh, on bullshit ass MLK day, which actually went live, but it started raining. I just didn't, I just cut the video. I didn't really upload the video. I wasn't even out there that long. But I was supposed to go out prophesy Saturday, but I ended up doing it yesterday. Like I say, it, it started raining. I cut the video, I had to cut the video short. And I just, I like, man, I'm, I'm not even gonna upload the video. Like, man, I'm just gonna come out here today. I gotta go work today, but I can have time to do another video before I just go in the house and chill before work. With that being said, I'm doing way too much talking when I get into these scriptures. I'm gonna start off with Second Edges 9 and 1. This is 2nd Andrew chapter 9, starting at verse 1. He answered me and said, Measure thou the time diligently. In itself, because he measured the time diligently, man. Looking for, looking for the signs, man. Looking for the signs. It's already to crack down. They haven't already. You can basically say it's martial law over there in D.C., which they have the shit um, blocked off like almost a cage, man. And yesterday I was watching that movie. I forgot the um the actor name man, but um one of the actors up in the Snowfall, he like the one of the main characters Snowfall, and the other one he played in the um he went in the Avengers, the black dude man. I can't think of the, the name the damn name of the movie, but um the movie man is is about basically it came down to a nuclear missile man, like nuclear power man, like, and it's almost like some, some biotech shit man, some real some real like high technology shit man. One of the one of the dudes man, he was actually like a almost a robot man, like, almost a robot. And I was like, damn, ultimately they have um, these saw playing movies like this where it's about nuclear, nuclear missiles and shit, where they ultimately the main character and shit, a body camp, people um body being transformed. Ultimately it's Esau. But they had Jacob in here, man. I'm like, man, it's a sign that Esau putting it out in front of your, um Jake face. Cause that's, that's the two main characters of the movie are Jake's. And it's about nuclear bombs, man. And it's and it pretty much it pretty much ultimately it, it says it pretty, like pure and plain. Uh, Russia shooting a nuclear missile over to the U.S. and that was about to happen. One of the Jakes was um, trying to trying to make it go off so that it do happen, but the other Jake was trying to stop him from from doing it, man. But the Jake they're trying to 
they made a joke they're trying to make the missus go off over here to America like seem like the bad guy. Well, it's actually the good guy, man. It's like, man, this place needs to be destroyed. That's ultimately what he was saying. And the other dude was like, no, there's millions of people over there. But that's what's gonna happen, man. So right now he's supposed to measure the time dinners. He's supposed to measure the time dinners, man. If you woke, a lot of people not woke. And the people that are woke, man, know that the people Israelites know that the Israelite, they not even um woke, they not even um been, you know what I'm saying, diligent about this, paying attention to the signs, man. They're not um, speaking to their congregation the words of prophecy. That's why I'll, that's all I have to say, man. Great millstone have the hundred percent truth. That's why I follow Great Millstone. I'm not a part of GMS camp, but I, I follow them, man, because they bring out prophecy, man. Tell you what's to come. They give you warning. They giving the people warning. That's how much love is that. That's showing love right there. That's showing love from hell by Shimei was shot. Ultimately, you have by Shimei was shot can destroy everybody, but he, he has an arm um, or leg. He's showing grace. He's sending his prophets out right now. That's why he was imagining the time diligent in itself. And when those see parts of the signs pass and continue reading, which I have told thee, then shall they understand that it is the same very time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when they shall see, so like of therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, uproars of the people, in the world, and that's right, it's, have, it's, it's definitely uproars in the people. It's definitely uproars of the people in America, but ultimately across the whole damn world. Ultimately across the whole damn world. If you ask me what's it going, just look up some stuff about what's going on around the whole world. I mean, the whole world is an uproar right now. The whole from, um, from over here, man, over there to the, in the South Sea, man, the, um, or Beijing, that China, man. From America all the way over there, man, to, um, Russia, Germany, man, the, everybody is in, everything is in the uproar. Whether it be this, that, man, every, every, like everybody is in the uproar. The whole world is in the uproar. That's how you know, man. Things are, things are tightening up. People worrying about the goddamn stimulus check. Okay, man, get a stimulus check. Okay, there's nothing wrong with getting that. But you can't be hazing the day for a goddamn stimulus check. Because we're hazing the day of the Lord. You have about shooting me up a shot. Don't be out here hazing the day for a goddamn stimulus check, which is not nothing. What the hell is $600 going to do? Man, that shit was just to get you by. That shit was just to get you by. Even and now I think um the reason I know cause Jake, I'm just I'm on I'm working on the forklift, man. Jake was like, man, I hope they come with that 1400. And the reason I knew you was talking about the stimulus check, because last time I was riding the bar again before they did a 600. They say, man, you know they talking about he was talking to another Jake. You know they talking about doing that 600. Like man, so that's how I know he was talking about the damn stimulus check, cause when they say he said the 1400, I'm like, man, this I already know he's talking about stimulus check, and then come and find out it was. He's talking about that stimulus check, man. Our people are not hasting the day of the Lord, man. They're not looking for the, the signs and the times of man that we're living in. Our people are not looking forward to that. Going along, continuing on to verse 4. Then shall, then shall thou well understand that the Most High, Yahweh, spake of thee things from the days that were before thee. Even from the beginning, man, even from the beginning. Even from the beginning, man. The prophets been prophesying, man, or what's to come. Even the times of Noah. They, they, uh, the, the Heavenly Father had Noah out there prophesying the times to come. People weren't paying attention to what Noah was going on with Noah. He was actually building the actual ark. So how you gonna you, you bypassing the actual you see him building the actual ark, you don't even know what's going go on, you don't even want to know what's going on. Right now we're building a spiritual ark. It's something that Jake can't see, man. You know, Jake don't got no faith. But we're building a spiritual ark right now, man. This thing's about faith. Man, it's about having faith in your how about she may outside and his words are true. And his words are going to come to pass, man. His prop the prophecies they spoke of to the prophets are going to come to pass. And they come to pass right in front of our eyes. But if the Lord got you sleeping, you, you you don't know what the hell is going on in the world right now, man. You don't know what the hell is going on right now, man. This one chick makes you this one chick, she ha she having problems, man. Unemployment and stuff. Look, um, the chick I know, she having unemployment problems and stuff. She got laid off and shit. But man, I'm like, before I knew the even situation, you just on social media and shit, she she living it up, man. Partying and shit, bullshitting and shit, just living it up, man. Like there's there's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Jake don't know when to when to self examine yourself, what I like to say, man. Right now, you're supposed to be self examining yourself, man. What you can do better. What you need to stop doing, man. I always like to self evaluate myself, man. Self examination. And the scriptures, uh, the scriptures speak on that, man. It's, it's, 
Self um, examination is an important thing in life, man. It's an important thing in life, man. It's important for your soul to self evaluate yourself. You don't, got, don't wait for somebody to tell you this and that, man. You ain't supposed to wait on somebody to tell you this and that. You know, Jake. Even uh, the lawyer, how about she now shy with a single messenger, probably to tell you this and that, and they still don't want to hearken on, man. And people still don't want to hearken on. That's why the scriptures say, man, you're coming to thief for the night. So that means some people, some people well, not some, millions, millions of people are going to be caught slacking or lacking, like they like to say, man. They're going to be lacking, man. Slacking, man. How about she now shy? It's going to come with at a, at a thief, come like a thief in the night. Come on, man. A thief in the night, that means somebody ain't going to, hey, somebody not going to be paying attention. Somebody going to be, a lot of people going to be caught by surprise. They're going to be caught by surprise. Going on to verse 5, for like as all that is made in the world had the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, man. The end is manifest. The end of the Esau world, man. That's what I'm supposed to say. I'm going to get there right now. I'm gonna just get made. Now I'm, I'm gonna start at verse six. This is second angel chapter six and verse six. Then I considered these things, and they were all made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Then answer I and said, What shall be the party of the son of the other times? Man, what shall be the party of the son of the times? A which shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow. Which shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow. When the when Esau, the world is going to end, and Jacob is the beginning of that father. That's what Edges was asking. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that follow, man. For Esau is the end of the world. That's how you know the world is coming to an end. That's why you're supposed to be measuring the times diligently, man, knowing that the times we're living in, man, are evil days. The times that we're living in, the evil days, man, terrible days, man. The time when Jacob's trouble is coming, man. The day of the Lord is coming, and he comes back with vengeance. You're not coming up, coming back, man, handing out lollipops and stuff like that, man. Handing out, man, get, um... Go pass, go, man. Free pass, man. He ain't coming back like that, man. Coming back with the sword. He coming back with the sword. So that means it's gonna be much destruction when Yahweh about send me out with Shai come back. When Yahweh, the Father, Yahweh send the Son, Yahweh Shai, there's things gonna gonna be, gonna be. Oh man, there's no telling how things gonna be. We can only say so much, knowing that man, it's gonna be terrible and probably what we're saying. It might be terrible than what things that we ain't never seen before, man. People are gonna have a heart attack when how about see me was shot. They see the heavenly um it's the only begotten sun come up out the sky, you how it's shot. People are gonna be heart having a heart attack just seeing the presence of him and seeing the angels, man, seeing them chariots, man. People are gonna be having a heart attack. Cause they're already gonna have a, the heavenly father gonna already have it put in their spirit that man. I'm finna be destroyed. I mean, Jake gonna know that they finna be destroyed, especially the ones that been mocking the truth. Scoffing at the truth, letting the truth, man, to, like it ain't nothing, man, hearing the truth, to acting like it's not nothing, man, not harking it on. Doing those times, man, they ain't, people, like, like when I was old saying, go. You laughing now, but you're gonna cry later. The prophets of the Lord, man, the 144,000, the elect, the one third, man, we crying now. But we're gonna laugh later, man. We're gonna laugh at the time of um, y'all calamity, man. We're gonna be laughing at the time of uh, Jacob's trouble. During no time, man, we have we've been building up our faith, man. We're gonna have faith in how about some out shy is gonna get us through that he's gonna cover us. I'm gonna get this right here. This is second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 42. He answered me and said, This present life is not the end which which work much glory do abide. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. For the day of doom shall be the end of this time and beginning 
of immortality were to come, man, the day of doom is gonna be the end of this time, but the beginning of immortality to, to come. That's what we waiting on, man. Waiting on the immortality to come. That's what we waiting, waiting to be immortal, man. Esau want us, Esau want to make us immortal, man, by vaccinating us. Also, man, by uh, ultimately by chipping us, man. Ultimately by chipping us. And then on uh, the movie I watched was on Netflix. It's a new movie that maybe been out a week or two ago. But it's, it's two Jake characters. I forgot the name of the movie. Maybe out of time or something like that. Uh, but they had they had um, a tracking device on him, man. A tracking device on him. Which they, they told him his whole body was from uh, right here down was, was, was straight technology. Like straight technology where he can transform and stuff like that. We can see um see through them and see the um the wires and stuff like that, all the connections and weird shit going, man. The shit look weird as hell. But man, ultimately, man, Esau probably do have some shit like that, man. They have people that like that that we don't even know. Man, we might be we might see them and don't even know that they they can damn that camouflage they got themselves, man. And he wasn't real though. He was made up. He only been alive three years. Three years. That's like in the movie they say he only been alive three years. But he was grown. He had. He can talk, he had a mind and shit like that, man. They had um they had robots and shit like that, acting like humans and shit, man, killing people, acting to certain movies and shit like that, man, knowing who the enemy is and stuff like that, who not to shoot. Yeah, man, so the day of doom is coming, man. The day of doom of America is coming. And it's coming very soon, man. It might not be this year, but it might be next year. I know who make it past this year, 2022 is gonna be some crazy ass shit going on. It's only January right now. We still gotta come on, man. But ain't no telling, man. This this year right here gonna be crazy. This year right here gonna be crazy. I can feel it in the spirit, man. Not only me, man. I guarantee there's a lot of brothers that can feel it in the spirit. That's why we we hasten and diligent, man, for the day of the Lord. We hasten for the day of the Lord. We, we hasten for the day of Yahweh by seeing our shot. Cause it should be a dark day and not light. It should be a dark day, man. A day of doom. Going on, where in corruption is past, and temperance is an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that had gotten the victory, man. And that's what we're waiting on, we're waiting on, we ain't waiting on the victory. That's why we uh, we, we diligently, man, paying attention to the signs, man, because once the signs, once the signs, from the past, man, ultimately, man, we're getting closer to that victory. We're getting closer to the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're supposed to, that's what we're wait, really waiting on, man. We're waiting on, on righteousness to be floored up, man, for this place, of, man, to be turned right side up, not upside down. In the kingdom of heaven, man, to be ruling again, man. To be with the, um, Yahweh shot, man. To be with Yahweh. To reign, with reign righteousness across the whole earth, man. To have everybody under subjection under us. Under the, um, the laws and shit, man. Kicking their ass and shit when they're not doing what they're supposed to do, man. Ultimately taking Esau down too. Taking these down Edomites down too. That's what we're waiting on. That's I'm gonna get this right here. It's in Proverbs. Bear with me. I'm trying to find. That's right. I passed it right up. It's, Pro it's in Proverbs chapter one.
right, man. So it's beautiful right here. This is Proverbs chapter one. Man, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start at verse twenty-two. Now I'm gonna start at verse twenty. Wisdom cried without and heard her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates in the city. She heard it. Her words saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, man. Can you know Jake's simple, man? Jake is simple as hell, man. Jake, Jake, the most, man. Jake, to me, man, two thousand people, man, probably the most simplest people on the goddamn planet Earth, man. They're like, ignorant, man. Ignorant to what's going on, man. Ignorant, hey, ignorant to what's going on. They ignorant to even just this life, man. Just like I say, man. Oh, girl, living it up, man. Partying the bullshit, man. But right now, man, talking about she irritated and shit like that, man. Bills doing shit, unemployment ain't kicked in. But shit, before that, man, you invited me to a damn birthday party, man, which is just uh, all this shit. When she invited me to a damn birthday party, which is really going off topic, man. But I was like, came to my mind, like, shit, this shit was, I think, just a month ago or something like that. Yeah, some big ass, a big ass party and shit like that, man. A big ass party, man. Come on, man. What the hell are people thinking, man? That's what I say, man. Jake, Jake. Simple. Jake is pretty simple, man. Going on to verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and will make known my words unto you because I have called and you refuse. I, the prophet's man are telling you, man. This is how about see me out with shot calling. That's the heavenly father and his only begotten son calling. But you refuse. You're like, you, oh, he ain't nobody, man. I'm with, I'm with the school with that guy. He ain't no prophet, man. He ain't no prophet, man. That's why uh, I was watching the video with uh, the bigger brother Hawaii. I think it may be in Pennsylvania. I know it's, uh, it's uh, YouTube is uh, Charlotte Wall, Israel 777. He, he, did a, he did a lesson on that, man. The ones you think that's not, not the messengers, man, are the messengers of your hour. The ones that you think that's not the messengers, don't have the truth, don't know what they're talking about, is really the ones that the Heavenly Father have to have the truth, man. The ones that really got the message that you should receive, but you refuse it, just like it said right here. Turn you at my proof, I will pour my spirit unto you and will make known my words unto you. So like I skipped the verse. Verse 23. Turn you at my proof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and will make known my words unto you. You're talking about the elect, man, the, uh, the prophets, man, the ones I have prophesied what's to come. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man guarded. But ye have set a knot in my counsel and would not. Like and with none of my proof, I will laugh at your calamity and mock when your fear come, man. You're gonna laugh at your calamity, man. The heavenly father is gonna laugh at your calamity. He's stretching out his hand right now. He's stretching out his hand right now. It's a grace period right now. There's a grace once the elect sealed up, man. It's gonna be a famine on the word. And soon, man, that can that can happen this year. That can happen this year, next year, man. Lord willing to have the soon. Cause that's a sign right there. A sign that once the, um, the family of the world come, we we'll even that closer to our salvation. That's why it's good to say, for salvation is nearer than we believe. That's why, man, the prophets out here, man, well, ultimately, it's supposed to be all Jake doing this, man. It's supposed to be measuring the time's diligence, man, hasten for the day. But the scriptures already have it wrote, and the two thirds out, people are gonna stay asleep. And they're they gonna die of spirits asleep, though. They're gonna. By them being so spiritually dead that they're gonna actually receive death. They're gonna actually receive death, man. That's why our scriptures say it should be more perished than saved. Two thirds of our people, they ultimately gotta go, man. They, they need a cleansing. They own um, that nuclear missile, need to cleanse their ass, man. But Jake ain't trying to get right. Jake not trying to clean himself up right now and shit, man. Jake is not trying to clean himself up right now. Jake, 2021, you think you're starting to bend and sticking your um, business gonna flourish. Hey, yeah, if it do, nay, yeah, if it don't. If that's what you want to do. But ultimately, man, I wouldn't be focused on starting a goddamn business right now and shit. I wouldn't be focused on starting a business right now. That's just some words of advice. But you know, that go over Jake's head, man. That go over Jake. 
I want to have something for my kids. So when my kid, you got damn kid, three years old. What you think? You think the uh, 15 years? Man, it might go 15 years, but you guarantee, man. Them, these 15 years gonna be rough for you and damn sure gonna be rough for your goddamn children. It's damn special going to the um, East Side School, man. This, this shit changing about every time, man. Everybody year. I graduated no nine, man. I know school today, man. School right now is fucking crazy. Shit, just at the school I went to, man, they had, this shit went viral, man. They had the um, whole school on lockdown. They had like three three jakes in there, which I think was one that was um, Issachar Wright, and the other two was um, from the um, Southern Kingdom. They all had guns, man. And the, the school restaurant, they all had guns. They, they was in there smoking and shit, man. They was in there smoking and shit. This happened probably last week. So, man, this shit, they had some type of shit like that going on in school, I ain't gonna lie, but when I was in school, it's, uh, 10, 11 years ago, but now, man, that shit, come on, man. All three of them had guns, they were taking a photo, and they actually posted that shit on social media. I guess somebody snitched them out and shit, man. They had the whole school on lockdown, man. So, man, so you, you know what I'm saying? Imagine your kid three years old, 15 more years once that kid hit high school, even junior high and shit like that, man. Hey, man, there's no telling, man, what they gonna have enough kids putting up in their mind. But kids, and kids getting worse every day, man. Kids are getting worse every day. Like, ain't not, they starting off young, man. It's kids now starting off young, 11 and 12, to smoke weed weed. Like, I smoked when I was young and shit, but man, Jake, hey, man, they waking up nowadays, man, to, to that weed shit, man, early and shit, man. A, a shooting motherfucker, shooting, killing somebody, man, that shit be like an early age with um, Jake now. Like I said, I feel like it, it's kind of always been like that, but now it's more speedily, man. You actually find a whole group of kids that's maybe number 12 or 13, man. They spare time, man, before they get to school, man. They smoking and shit, man. Toting guns and shit, man. Or riding by looking for, uh, how you say, oppositions and shit like that, man. Let me get back to these scriptures, though. To finish where I left off. It say, I will laugh at your calamity and will mock when your fear come. We're going to mock when your fear come. When you gee, 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 gee. Right now, man, when that time come, man, you're going to on your goddamn knees and shit, man. That's you gonna be laughing at your ass though. We gonna be laughing at your ass. When fear come as desolation, your destruction come as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then shall you call upon me and I would not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, man. You gonna be calling on Yahweh by Shimmy outside. Us you gonna be calling on God and Jesus Christ. And he definitely not gonna hear your ass, man. I'm gonna get this right here. A precept real fast. Up in Luke. Luke 13. It's in Luke chapter 13. I'm gonna start at verse 23. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and, not, and shall not be able. And that's why you're supposed to strive to enter in the straight gate, man. You ain't supposed to be trying to enter in, man, like jacking a cricket and shit, man, sideways. You're supposed to be entering in the straight gate, man. Through the 100% truth, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shimei you supposed to be entering into the straight gate. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut to the door, and you begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open up to us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you whence you are. That's exactly what I read back in um, Proverbs, man. Then they shall call upon me, back in Proverbs chapter um, 1 and 28, then they shall call upon me, and I will not answer. They shall seek me early. But they shall not find me. Back up, this back up in Luke. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut to the door, he begins to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, "Lord, Lord, open up to us." And he shall answer and say unto you, "I know you wish you are." You how about she may have a shot, man? Ultimately, man, the heavenly Father, man, you gonna have. You ain't gonna know who you are. You ain't gonna know who you are, man. This, this written in red. This actually the Lord speaking, man. You have a shot. It's only beloved son, you have a shot, man. He ain't gonna, Lord, Lord, open up to me. Like I say, people in that day gonna be on their goddamn knees. 
praying and shit. Then your ass don't want to start praying, man, really praying, dealing to you and try to mean it. But during that time, it's going to be too late. That's why we have the, you have the prophets out here. You have by Shemel Shai sending his messages, man. His messages out here. How, that's love right there, man. That's love right there. I mean, he's a power that he can just destroy all this shit and just throw it over. But he's he's a loving power, man, that's showing love. People people don't know, man, that um, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh is about balance, man. He's, it's about love and hate, man. You can't have love without hate. Like, you can't have up without down, left without right. You can't have the wicked. You can't have the righteous without the wicked. How you gonna know what, if everything was wicked, how you gonna know what righteous is, man? Everything righteous, how you gonna know what wicked is? In the new covenant, man, we ain't gonna know what wicked is. We ain't gonna know what wicked is. Ultimately, the um, Negro Latinos Native Americans, man, the Israelites, we ain't gonna know what being wicked is or going off and anything like that. It's gonna be nothing but pure righteousness in our mind. Our, pure, our, our mind is gonna think righteousness. Man, we ain't gonna never, we ain't gonna be able to think even wicked. A negative thought or something like that, man. So a wicked thought is even coming to your goddamn mind like today, like me nowadays. All day, man, wicked ass thoughts come into your mind, man. Fucking demons and shit wanna jump on you and shit like that, man. You fighting demons every day. Me, these, these damn people ain't not fighting no goddamn demons every day, man. These people's not fighting no demons every day. They don't even know what fighting spiritual demons are. A lot of these J's, two thirds of people don't even know what fighting spiritual demons are, man. That's why these people have to be destroyed. They don't care at all. Neither do they consider. Going, continue on to verse 26. Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in our presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say unto you, I know you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, man. That's written in red, man. So how was shot speaking? Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. All you workers of iniquity, man. All these two thirds of our people, man, are number of workers of iniquity. Going, uh, going back to Proverbs, I'm gonna finish this off. In verse 29, for they that hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord Yahweh, they would none of they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore, Shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices? Make them gonna be filled with your own lust. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fool shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil, man. And that's the elect, man. Whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, man. The elect, man, we're gonna be dwelling safely. Lord willing, I'm part of that number. But we're gonna be dwelling safely. While well, everybody out here, man, tripping, running wild, acting like mad, man, man. Sparing nobody. During that time, the police ain't gonna be able to save you. The police ain't gonna be able to save the goddamn self. Like in the, uh, I brung it out last uh, couple of videos, man, and movie The Wonder Woman, man. They had a scene where it showed that, man. The police was asking for help. Man, I can't use asking for help. And it had some people, some police out there doing that shit, you know what I'm saying, trying to do this and that. Then they had like one or two officers, man, was asking for help, man. Like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. He was talking to people on the walkie talkie, man, asking for help. You a goddamn police officer, man. You supposed to be serving and protecting, you know what I'm saying, the goddamn people. Ultimately, that's what you're uh, supposed to be doing. But man, but during those times, with the times are coming soon, man, the police are not gonna be able to save that goddamn self. If the head of the father not dealing with you, man, you ain't gonna be dwelling safety. You're not gonna be dwelling safety, man. It'll be nothing but uh, much tribulation. Which ultimately, man, we all gonna have to go through Jacob trouble. But man, the, the heavenly father gonna be dealing with the elect of his people that they gonna be dwelling safety in the time of Jacob trouble, man. I mean, you might have to not eat. You know what I'm saying? Some days, something like that. Or, 